So one of the biggest questions women always have about how do I find a good fitting bra for myself is how do I measure for a bra? Now if you Google how to measure for a bra, you will see a ton of things, a ton of different books and videos, and they tell you to measure up top, they tell you to measure underneath, but first and foremost, they always tell you to put on a good fitting bra and take a measurement, which is a bit of an oxymoron, because if you had a good fitting bra, you probably wouldn't be measuring yourself in the first place. So I'm gonna show you today the best way to measure your rib cage measurement, which correlates to your band size. And with this information, it's a lot easier to find out what ballpark you should be playing in when you're looking for a great fitting bra. I'm gonna introduce in my sister Erin, family run business, and I'm gonna show you on Erin where to measure to get the rib cage measurement. Now a couple things you need to know. If you do have a good fitting bra, put it on. Second, this is a two-man sport. If you're trying to measure yourself, you'll never get an accurate measurement and you more than likely will not get the measuring tape level, which is so important. Finally, you have to make sure that there's no breast caught in your rib cage measurement. So if your girls are sitting over your rib cage, you need to lift them up. But in this case, we have Erin in a good fitting bra. I'm gonna take my measuring tape. In North America, we still typically use inches in our measurements. And I'm gonna pull the measuring tape snug just underneath the breast. Get you to turn sideways. And what you'll notice is that the measuring tape is level front to back. Now incidentally, this is where your bra back should be sitting. If your bra back's not sitting down there, you're wearing your bra way too big and you're wearing your bra way too high on your body. Turn your face. We look at this number. And in Aaron's case, it's 28 inches. And what we do to determine the band range is we add one to two inches to get to our next even number. So in the case of Erin, she measures 28. We'll add on two inches. That gives us a 30. So Erin would start looking in a 30 band, maximum a 32 band. Now if you're measuring yourself anywhere under 36 inches and you're wearing a 36 or a 38 band, you're in the wrong size bra. This is really important to know before you go in to get a bra fitting because unfortunately some businesses in bra fitting will fit you to their product instead of fitting your beautiful body. So at least if you know what you measure to, if they're putting you in a band size that is two or three band sizes bigger than your measurement, probably not a good idea to shop there because while it would fit comfortably now, the bra is just going to get too big, too loose and not support properly. So we've just figured out your band measurement and that's terrific. That gives you the ballpark to start playing in. But then you need to figure out your cup. There's a couple of different ways of measuring, but here's a simple rule I use. If the cup is full and not overflowing, then that is your cup size. And that can be any letter of the alphabet and in fact those letters go right up to M. So don't worry so much about what letter, but are you filling out your cups fully? Do you have all your breasts in the cup? and is it staying put when you're moving around. So last thing to always remember when you're measuring for a bra is that your posture is key. Bras are designed to sit on our body so that we can support our great posture. If you don't feel like stand up straight and tall in the bra, you're not wearing the bright size. And don't worry so much about the letters and numbers. They really don't mean a whole heck of a lot. What's important is that the bra fits you, you feel comfortable in it, and you can stand up straight and tall and show that confident woman that you are. Finally, ladies, don't forget, if your gut instinct in the change room is telling you that this doesn't fit or feel right, then don't put your valuable hard-earned money down on that product. If the numbers don't make sense, don't buy the bra. Because heaven knows we've all wasted way too much money on bad fitting bras. And remember, at Esteem Lingerie, we do more than lift your spirits.